Hi friends, welcome to my new kitchen. It's still not quite ready to show off with a full tour just yet. That will come in the future, but today let's make some shrimp scampi. It's really hard to beat a classic shrimp scampi as the entire meal is prepped, cooked, and done in about 10 minutes, which is my kind of meal. A little splash of wine gives it an elevated touch for a simple yet impressive dinner. And while there are many ways you can serve it up, I'm gonna show you two ways in today's video. So let's dive right in. To get started, add three tablespoons of butter to a large skillet over medium heat, along with two tablespoons of olive oil. Give the skillet a swirl to combine those two, and then add four minced garlic cloves to the pan. If you like your shrimp extra garlicky, always feel free to add a little bit more. Saute the garlic for about 30 seconds or so until it's just becoming fragrant, then add half a cup of dry white wine. You can choose your favorite white wine, especially as you'll have leftovers of it, so pick one that you'd like to either pair with the final dish or just enjoy on its own. But if you'd like another recipe that uses white wine to help you finish it off, I highly recommend you make my poached salmon recipe, and I'll link that in the video description. Lastly, add one teaspoon of kosher salt to the skillet along with a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes for just a smidge of heat and extra flavor. Stir that all together, then bring it to a simmer and let it reduce by half, which should take just two to three minutes or so. Add one and a half pounds of large or jumbo shrimp to the skillet and saute them for about three minutes or until they're just cooked through. The beauty of shrimp is that they cook extremely fast and that always makes for a quick and easy dinner recipe. But you do wanna make sure that you don't overcook them or else they'll turn out a bit rubbery. So once they're fully pink and opaque, they are definitely done. To finish off the shrimp scampi, add a squeeze of lemon from half of a lemon, and I just squeeze it over my hands to catch the seeds, and then garnish with some freshly chopped parsley. And I'm chopping extra parsley for the first plating recipe that I'll show you here in a second. Stir that all together one last time, and that's it. The most beautiful and tasty classic shrimp scampi, and one of my favorite 10 minute dinner recipes. But let me give you a few ideas for plating. For the first idea, I just steamed some cauliflower to make my cauliflower mash recipe that's on my website. To the steamed cauliflower, I'm adding some sauteed garlic and a bit of olive oil, some chopped parsley and chives, though you can use a variety of fresh herbs, and some salt and pepper. Now, usually I have the habit of slightly over steaming my cauliflower and it ends up a bit more like a puree. But of course, today I was so paranoid of doing that that I undercooked the cauliflower just a bit. But not to worry, that's where an immersion blender comes in handy, so I'll just blend it up for a creamier texture. Smear a couple generous spoonfuls of the cauliflower mash on a plate, and then use tongs to add a few of the shrimp. But the best part is drizzling some of the warm lemon garlic butter sauce over the mash as it soaks in and flavors the cauliflower so deliciously. The next option I'm sure some of you have seen me make before, and that's mixing the shrimp with zucchini noodles or zoodles. You can of course use regular spaghetti noodles as well if you're not gluten-free like I am, but I also love that the zoodles, similar to the cauliflower, sneak a vegetable into the final plated dish. So I'll just add the zucchini noodles to the rest of the shrimp that I have left in the skillet and toss that all together before serving it up in a bowl to enjoy. All right, I'm not gonna lie. It took a little bit of work today to try and film in a whole new kitchen with all new light. I'm still remembering where I put everything in the drawers, so it's taking me a while, but we will get there. I think what I love most about this dish is that if you were to serve the shrimp scampi on its own on a platter, it just presents beautifully for a dinner party. The shrimp glisten in the lemony garlic butter sauce and it just presents well with a whole bunch of different side dishes or main courses. And while we just jumped into spring and I am all about the light and fresh meals right now, I love it served over a good zoodle or a mashed cauliflower. You could even do a very simple garlic sauteed spinach as well. But if the weather is cooler where you are at, definitely serve it over mashed potatoes for a heartier meal or even black lentils. I love it served over black lentils. I think the moral of this story is that this is just a classic dish that you should know how to master and you can definitely serve it for spring, summer, fall, or winter. And while I don't think you're gonna have any leftovers with this because everyone always goes back for an extra one or two shrimp, if you do happen to have leftovers, it will keep for about three to four days in the fridge. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as I mentioned at the beginning, there is a lot more tasty things coming your way in my brand new kitchen, along with a kitchen tour at some point in time. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.